All right, so let's get this finished. Uh, we, we finished up making the about and the contact pages, and now all that's left is the portfolio page. And uh, why don't we work on that? Let's, first we gotta get um, this thing. It's called the Simple Viewer. It's awesome. Uh, just Google it, download it. It's it's super sweet. Um, here, I'll show you some demos of it. This is one uh, version of it. You can adjust it uh, pretty easily, and it just loads up uh, all the images that you want. And it's really nice, really clean, um, and really easy to update. So. Uh, unfortunately, all it does is images, though. It doesn't do movies. Um, yeah. So, uh, download it and uh, extract it and open it up. And it'll come with a .air file, so you just want to double click that to run it. And it's going to install an Adobe Air application. Uh, I already have it installed, so I'm just going to run it. Um, and it's going to ask me if I want to start a new gallery or open an existing one. And I want a new one. And it wants me to drag in some images. Uh, so I've got some images over here. So I'll just click and drag these in. And these can be like really high res images. They don't have to be already resized because it will resize them for you. It's pretty sweet. Um, so we can change the maximum length and width. So the maximum width will be 940, and maximum height, you know, I'll do 700, okay? And you can go in here and type in uh, text for each one if you want, like a, a label. I'm just typing in the name of all these things. Um, so that's about it for that. I mean, we can go on to the next one. We can customize it. Uh, so if we don't like how the viewer looks, uh, I'm going to switch it to modern. And I'm going to set the thumbnail position to be on the bottom. And I'm going to set the number of rows to 1 and the number of columns to five. And make the background transparent. And then it has these two buttons up at the top, but I don't really like them. So I'm gonna get rid of them. All right, so that looks pretty good. I like that. And it has uh, our labels that we typed in. So let's go to publish. And it'll ask us where we want to publish it. And so I'll throw it in site. I'll make a new folder called gallery. And just click OK. And uh, just click save. All right. So if we close out of here. Uh, and we look at our, our site folder. We have a gallery folder now and an index.html. And this is the gallery that we made. Pretty cool. Um, so let's, uh, let's, let's put it inside of our website. So I'm gonna I'm gonna copy the about page and just paste it into the gallery folder. Um, actually, no, I'm gonna delete that. And I'm going to go back over here to Dreamweaver and grab the portfolio page and refresh it and drag it into the gallery. And it's gonna ask me to update these links, so I'm gonna update them. All right. And now what I'm going to do is rename this index to like index two or something. And 
then go back over here to Dreamweaver and uh, I'll name portfolio, well, I'll refresh it, and I'll name portfolio index.html and it's going to ask me to update the links and the reason why we can do this uh, and have it update the links is because we set up a site if we didn't set up a site it wouldn't ask me to update these links and I'd have to manually go to each one of these uh, pages and set um, portfolio.html to be gallery slash index.html which is what we want so um, now I'm going to delete this uh, index too because we don't need it and open up uh, our index page which this is going to be the portfolio page uh, okay I was just checking something uh, yes that's fine alright so what we're going to do is delete this and uh, delete this div as well. We don't need any of that. And I'm going to set this div instead of being 8 to 12. Okay. And put my cursor between the divs. Insert media SWF. And then uh, just go and browse into your gallery we're going to look inside the SV core and then SWF and we want that one All right. and by default it comes in at 800 by 600 um, we're going to increase that to 940 and like uh, I don't know 800 for the height uh, 750 and we'll set the background to be transparent the, the W mode if you will um, yeah I think that's it so if we save this it's gonna ask to add uh, some JavaScript files and we want that and we're just going to preview it see how it looks um, I think what I'm gonna have to do is actually move it up this way a little more. It's kind of far down. I might even uh, reduce the height of it. So let's do that. Let's set the height to 700 and let's adjust this. Uh, so instead of calling it content, I'll name it um, portfolio for the class and go to my CSS file and find where it says content copy that paste it and type in portfolio and I'll just reduce this margin to like 15 okay and so I'll save that and preview it and see how this looks Let's see here I think that's all right. Mm, I'm going to bring it down a little further. It's not in line with this. I want the top edge of this to be in line. Let's do 25. All right. A little more. Let's do 30. Okay. So let's see here. How's that look? That's pretty good. I'm happy with that. That's fine. Oh, look at that. found a bad link 
Well, it looks like I'll, I'll have to check each one of these pages to make sure that they all link to the right thing. Because it looks like it's not going there. That's an easy thing to do. Alright, so, uh, yeah, that one's fine. No, that one's not fine. This one should be index.html. Okay. Yeah. And this one... Yeah, that one's right. I'm just checking the links here. Uh, that one's right. That one's right. Is it just the about page? Huh. They're all right. Let's try this again. That was odd. Portfolio. Okay. We'll start with the index. Index portfolio. Okay. That works. About portfolio. That works. Blog. We don't have a blog um, on the page. Contact portfolio. Okay. So it's working now. All right. I think that's it. That's our website. Um, now there's just a couple little tiny things that we got to do. Uh, so I'm going to pause this tutorial and uh, I'll pick you up in the next one where we do the final touches and get it up online.